going to cut out two pieces of cardboard about five or six inches across and whatever length you would like. It doesn't have to be these exact measurements, but you do want both of them to be the same size. After that, you're going to cover them in wax paper as I've already done. Depending on where you want your design, if you want it on the side, then you'll just place it on the cardboard like this, but if you want it on the front, you know, like this or the back. You'll take your sock and place it on the cardboard. After I get it on, I like to kind of pinch and adjust it so the tension on it is even all the way up and down so that it's not like lopsided or too stretched in one section. After I put my socks on the cardboard, I like to lay them right next to each other just to check and make sure everything is balanced and in the same place so that when I put my design on it, it's in the same spot on each sock and just making sure everything is lined up. I'm using a fabric stamp that I made out of foam. It's just foam and hot glue, more foam. If you would like, you can definitely freehand your design, but for me, it's just much faster to just start everything off with a stamp. I'm just putting a very thin layer of fabric paint on my stamp. This is just kind of a outline or a template, I don't know what you want to call it, just to kind of start. I'm not trying to stamp it and then be done with it. Since stamps can be kind of inconsistent, I think it's just best just to use a stamp as a starting point. I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want it in the center near the top and then just press down. And that's my stamp. Since I would like my bows in the same spot on my socks, I'm going to just lay them next to each other and kind of eyeball it and try to stamp in the same place. So for my paint, I'm going to be using this purple as it is, but I'm also going to be mixing in some of the white with the purple to get a lighter purple. After it's been stamped, you're just going to go in and just fill everything in. Here are my socks. I decided to put a teardrop under it. I don't know how I feel about this yet. I used a fake beauty blender cut in half for this shape. I don't know how I feel about it. But we're gonna keep on going. I'm gonna just go in with the purple without any white in it and fill in these little gaps here. So as this dries, it will darken up. And then I like to do two little lines coming out from the side that look like just kind of the folds of the bow, that's it. Probably can't see that, but <laughs> when it dries, it'll be darker and you'll be able to see that. Here is my bow and my gigantic teardrop. The parts that I went in with the plain purple did darken up a little bit, but I didn't think it was still enough of a contrast. So I mix some black paint with the purple just to kind of deepen it up, let it completely dry. And then you're going to set it by following the instructions on your fabric paint bottle. Alright, till next time, bye!